how I used to do my makeup in 2019 and how I do it in 2023. That has got to be the straightest line I have ever produced. There may be too much foundation involved, but I did wear that amount of foundation back then. And I still have massive painful zits on my forehead, so nothing really changed. I would conceal my whole existence. And the contouring... It was dramatic. It's giving burnt toast, but that's obviously what I was going for back then. Now, the baking. I swear I used to bake more than a pastry chef. Freckles were a must-have. I used to do the most for these eyebrows. A good old cut crease has to happen. I used to think I was the shit with these cut creases. Liner, we need her. She was always a necessity. Okay, honestly, it's a little bit slay. I had to have astronomical lashes. I didn't have a lip fillers then, so I would always overline. And those lips had to be dry. I'm talking drier than your DMs on a boring Tuesday. I said Sahara Desert. And that will be 2019 me. The overlining girl. Honestly, still slay. I'm just gonna go do 2023. I'm gonna go do that right now. I just did something. This transition just had to be done. I don't make the rules. I'm going for absolutely minimal effort. If I just stop drinking these damn bubble teas, I know I wouldn't have these stupid little zits, but bubble tea is the priority. Okay, let's look a little bit less dead. Well, they're definitely sisters, not twins. Are they even related? I don't know. I have these new la- these new lashes, you better make my eye look a lot better. Okay, the moment of to do This eye makeup is just annoying the frick out of me. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of spice. I don't know if I just made it better or worse, but I'm just gonna stop touching it. I absolutely despise my hair, so I'm just gonna pull everything back. I have this sword thing. I'm just gonna make a bun with that i'm just gonna change into the outfit update on the situation the outfit is outfitting and i'm putting on random rings i don't know where this is going i'm gonna put it on slow zoom and 30 seconds and then i'm stopping at painting you can be the muse the reporter you can be the news okay what do you do when selena gomez herself comments on your video i mean you keep it cool of course that's what I did. I for sure wasn't screaming, crying, and throwing up. And I thought, what better time would there be to do a full face of rare beauty? Rare beauty. Selena is my Wizards of Waverly Place princess. Iconic. Unforgettable. But I'm gonna be honest, so if I don't like something, I don't like it, okay? And I bought everything myself. Obviously, I'm in my investment era. First, we're gonna prime, and I'm using the Always an Optimus Pore Diffusing Primer. I'm not gonna- Ooh, I'm not gonna use too much. I don't know why I always smell things. It smells like nothing. I don't know if my pores are really diffused, but it's a nice primer. I like it. Let's get right in with the foundation. I forgot to buy the concealer because I'm clearly stupid. Bitch, you have one job. Never mind ignoring the problem. Maybe the foundation is full coverage and I don't need it. I think I went too light. I caspered myself. We are not going to panic because I did get another shade. I'm using a damp sponge. This is so dirty, but I kind of don't care. Okay, the coverage is giving. The foundation is so good, I think you don't even need a concealer. Now the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. I'm gonna put it on with this Rare Beauty brush. All of these names are so cutesy. The bronzer honestly explained a few things. I had to contour my nose a little bit. Now, the whole internet is talking about this blush. It's supposed to be like the holy grail of blushes. And I just need to know if it's worth the hype. I'm at three minutes, so go to part two. Hold up. I don't think I do, but I can try to do my makeup like her. I think that might be really fun. I love her makeup. She always looks flawless. First, we're gonna prime. This is like a no pore primer. If we're trying to give off Kendall vibes, we can't have pores, okay? Kendall always gives off the face tuned in real life vibes. As Kendall Jenner, we don't wear a lot of foundation. We don't need a lot of foundation. This is a skincare foundation and it kind of just makes your skin glowy and nice. You don't wear a lot of concealer, just a little bit. Now, the contour. I think that Kendall doesn't wear a lot of contour, but I am not Kendall, okay? I don't have those cheekbones. We are going right here. I'm gonna use the model cheekbone thing I saw on TikTok. It's officially my only hope. 
we're just gonna need a quick nose job. Also added this to lift my eye. And the final touch, a little bit of blush. I look interesting. We don't want our candle face to melt, so I'm gonna spray everything. Pray for me. See you in part two. Okay, we are trying that um, right now. Also, I'm gonna get ready for dinner with my boyfriend, so yeah. Also, I got a lot of questions about this foundation. Is the Chanel Le Lace Beiges? French people can absolutely spit on me for this pronunciation. As I said, absolutely best foundation ever. I also want that flawless base from the video. I don't know if you noticed, but it was unreal. I pretty much always contour the same, so I'm gonna skip that. Okay, so first we're kind of using the black eyeliner and creating a sort of a cat eye look. Am I the only one who always gets like super creeped up about stuff being in my waterline? I don't know, that is unnatural. That is not natural. Okay, I'm using this side to kind of buff it out and I'm doing like a liner. Okay, now help me this side. I have this red eyeshadow and I also have this and I can just buff it in. Please help a girl out and go to part two. Can you try the She Glam Love Dive Collection? You bet I can. Very cute, very pink. Whoa, it's giving flowers, it's giving blossom. And let's see what's inside. Ta da! We have some blushes, pressed powder, a mirror, a primer. I've never tried a She Glam primer, I'm really excited. Liquid lipsticks, and we have some glosses. First, we're trying the primer. It is a moisturizing primer. I took a little bit. I look a little bit rough today, but it did make my skin really glowy. My face definitely approves this one. This mirror is so pretty. I personally love hand mirrors. I'm gonna do my base and then we're gonna get back for the blush and the press powder. And the base is done. Now it's time for the press powder. Okay. So this side is with powder and this one is without. I really like it. It doesn't make you look cakey. Now let's check out the... Let's check out the blushes. These are all the shades. For me, I'm gonna go with this one. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I really like this blush. I don't know how much the camera is picking up, but it's the prettiest pink. These are the liquid lipsticks. These are the glosses. I'm gonna go with the Hearts Entwined Lipstick and the Through It Love Lip Gloss. And that's the whole collection. My favorite is definitely the mirror, the blush, and I really, really, really like the gloss. All in all, the whole collection is absolutely adorable. Let's get my hair fixed. My hair is in critical condition. I didn't change my extensions in five months, and I'm kind of going bald, bestie. Since I had the Rona, I lost a lot of hair. This is what I'm left with. It's giving a little frugal. I wanted to go back to red. So badly. So badly. Uh, they told me my hair would fall out. Which wasn't really what I was going for. But we just did some highlights. Trying to not touch my poor dead hair too much. Her rest in peace at this point. Let her rest in peace. But I still did get the extensions because I want hair. Of course there had to be a snowstorm to ruin my new hair. I'm gonna get back to when I get home and do my makeup. Pray for me. So I have a serious question. Am I the only one who sometimes wakes up wishing they were a completely different person? Like, I want to change everything. So today I woke up and I decided I wanted to be an e-girl. I wanted the e-girl aesthetic. I wanted to try it. When I say everything, I mean everything. I got a new wig. Uh, we need to we need to find a good name for her. I'm going to be following every e-girl makeup tutorial I find on this app. And there are a lot. One thing is for sure, and that is we are going to need a foundation. I'm going with a little bit of a lighter shade for me today. For my e-girl transformation, I am going to be needing a full beat. I feel like e-girls always have the most perfect base makeup. How do y'all do it? Is it witchcraft? Let me know. I am not against it, might even participate. And of course, we need the famous e-girl button nose. Now for the blush, the blush needs to be blushing. E-girls always kill it with the blush, so we, we gotta make them proud. We are also going to be needing freckles. We are going to be using a brush. I'm going to professionally call this the brush method. Not gonna lie, the brush method absolutely slays. Now, the holy grail, the eyeliner. This is the most crucial part. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm trying to create a really straight line. I'm trying to make it look like puppy liner. Is that a thing? I th I'm sure that's a thing. I think it's good. Also need the little thingy over here. I'm done with both eyes and now I'm blending the black liner underneath. I'm taking a lighter eyeshadow and putting it on my lid. I don't know what it is, but I want to give myself a brow slit. Should I give myself a brow slit? 
I'm gonna put on lashes in the end. So for the lips, I'm gonna be going with a pinky color and I'm gonna put it here. The lipstick is kind of pinkish, but it's like really effortless. I gotta make it look like it appeared by itself. Another important part are the lashes. I need more freckles. So this is the makeup done, I guess. Now I gotta put on the wig. Tell me, am I missing something? If you wanna see how this looks with the hair, go to part two. Um, we got it, we got it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I tried to figure out this transition for like a half an hour. I'm embarrassed. I gotta get ready pretty quickly because I'm going on a date with my boyfriend. It's our four month, four months in a relationship, in a ship of relation. What is that? Okay. With the makeup, I really want something simple because the jig is up. He knows, he knows how I look without makeup, okay? But still, I want to be cute. I think I'm out of the loop. Do you guys even celebrate these little mini month anniversaries? I'm just trying to figure out what the frick am I gonna do with my hair. Look at this. This is illegal. It's illegal. A little word of advice. Don't go blonde. Don't do it. Ever. Okay. I can buy myself flowers. take myself dancing. The concert is officially over. I feel super boring, so I'm gonna add some glitter. As you know my motto, if something looks like shit, you just put some glitter on it. Now, for eyeliner, I really want to do the most simple eyeliner I can do. I hate those clumpy lashes that make me look like I am to the B-girl. These, I feel like, will be very... Whoa! I'm gonna do the lips. Now we have to do the outfit change because I am not going in this. <laughs> okay, the outfit is a little extra, but if I don't do it, who's gonna do it? We need some... Okay, not that much. And that will pretty much be it. Let's finish this transition. Let me take you. Excuse me. We're gonna take the mirror. We're gonna be like, hi, peekaboo. I am here. Okay, let's go. A hundred and fifty dollar foundation, is it worth it? Well, today we're gonna find out. I'm gonna do one side of my face with the most expensive foundation and the other half of my face with the most affordable one. On the expensive side, we have the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. Why do these names have to be so long? Anyway, a hundred and fifty dollars. This is the most expensive one I could find here in Serbia. And on the affordable side, Miss A. Now, I don't know if you know about Miss A, but all their products are around one dollar. And I'm using the Papa Pro Wear foundation. Why can I pronounce anything today? Anywho, it is sitting nicely at $2, which is less than a cup of coffee. First, I'm going in with the affordable, the Miss A. I bought like seven shades because they're $2. We are just gonna do a couple of dots. It is blending in really easily. This had dried super fast. I feel like if you have oily skin, this is like chef's kiss. For now, I'm pleased. And now the Lemur, Lemur. Now with this, I'm gonna be careful because every drop is like $10. It is very watery. Look how sheer this is. Don't get me wrong, I love sheer foundations. But now I have spilled like $50 of foundation on my table. Using the same brush. It is super light. I really like that. And here it is in all its glory. Comparison. For now, I do like De La Mer more, but I don't like it $145 more. I want to do a wear test and see how these act throughout the day. So I'm going to finish my makeup and do that. Okay, I am done. This is how it's looking. I did everything with the same products on both sides. I have no beauty filter. So you can see how it looks. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day and I'm going to get back to you with my conclusion. See ya in a couple of hours. Well, I definitely do have brown eyes. And let me tell you, I would never, and I mean never, go for blue eyeshadow. I hate it. With a passion. But today, we're trying something new, okay? I'm gonna quickly do my base. I'm gonna use a light foundation. This foundation is expensive, but it's worth it, okay? The most skin-like foundation I have ever used. I'm really spitting it up because I really want to concentrate on the eyes. If anyone gives a damn about the contouring, here is here it is. New Corpse Bright palette, so that's what I'm gonna use. 
As much as I can see, there is some neutral eyeshadow on the upper lid. I want like a subtle cut crease. I'm pretty sure this would be it. As we can see, the neutral eyeshadow doesn't really make brown eyes pop, you know. Which blue should I use? There's so many options. Which one of these three would you choose? Or should I use a liner? Tell me which one and go to part two. Welcome to part two of trying the viral foundation technique. Meredith says blend it. So I'm going to blend my hand away. It looks okay, I gotta say. We are also gonna do a lot of contour. Contouring our whole existence away. This is the contouring. First, we're going in with a brush. You're supposed to make everything look phenomenal, okay? No pressure, no pressure on you. At first, it looks a little cray cray. It's scary at this point. We're gonna take a sponge and then she says, blend it in. Then we're adding the blush, and we are blushing it generously. This would be it for the base. I have a feeling Meredith does it like this because it looks really good in pictures. I'm gonna take some pictures later and see how it looks. And this is the end result. You can really see it in full quality. It looks amazing. It looks crazy, but I guess it works. What's your opinion? What do you think about this? I think the foundation method slate. So, since I'm going bald, I thought it would be fun to rate all of my past hair colors. So, my natural hair is dark brown. This is, like, approximately what it looks. She's cool, but she's kind of boring, so we're gonna give her a, a, a 6 out of 10. I kind of look like my name is Sarah, and I gossip about you with Becky in the cafeteria, and then I ask you to copy her homework. Then we have Kaylee. I would name her Kaylee. She works in a drugstore and is trying to sell you the wrong shade of foundation. Not because she doesn't know, it's just because she's a... Okay, I would give her a 7 just because she's not as boring as Sarah. Now we have Mary. She is your boyfriend's best friend. She's one of the homies. I would say Mary gets a solid 8 because I rock this hairstyle. This is for sure Larissa. She's that girl that would say, I love your outfit, I wore that like 3 years ago. Out of her time. This is Malfoy gets a 9. Let me know if you want me to do a part 2 because there's 10 more. I don't know if this is gonna work. I have a vision in my head of this transition. First step would be to stop looking unacceptable, okay? So I had an idea for my hair and it might be really cute. I think I'm gonna do some braids. Let's pray for that situation. Two thousand years later. I'm finally done with the hair. If you're wondering why I look like that thing that's been molding under your sink for two weeks. I slept for one hour today, so... Cut me some slack. I am clearly having a pretty unstable day. Oh, I'm contemplating doing an eyebrow slit. Do we need an eyebrow slit? I vote yes. But no joke, this is like the seventh layer of concealer and I still have dark circles. I'm just gonna do it with some concealer. I know you were waiting for me to ruin my eyebrow. I have no idea where my contour stick is, but I have this lipstick, so it's gonna have to work as a contour. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where this is going. I mean, when life doesn't give you lemons, use your lipstick to do your makeup on your whole face. I also use the pink lipstick as blush and tell me why it's like looking decent. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Okay, now we're gonna need some very fast liner. Mm. Okay, I did my mascara, now I'm gonna do the lash thing. You place the lash on your bottom lashes and you close your eye really tight. You look like a pirate for a while and you wait, you wait it out. Bam, lashes. Okay, the lips and I'm done. I'm done with this whole day and this whole experience. I'm not gonna change my outfit because I'm really lazy and tired. I'm just gonna add a sleeve, like the laziest person in the universe. Let's finish this transition before I go insane. We're gonna finish the transition just taking the money. This foundation technique is viral again, so today we're gonna try it. And we're gonna try it in full quality with no filters. Now, I'm not saying that Meredith uses filters, but when you film with your front camera, the quality just isn't showing every pore. So first, the important thing is to prime. So my face is currently drier than your text with your last situationship. We need a lot of primer. I'm using the Too Faced Plump and Prime. 
Now, I'm giving this a fully fair shot and using my favorite foundations. We're gonna do it like Meredith does, so we're gonna put it on the hand and we're gonna use a lot. Oh, it is spilling all over the place. So this is a little bit scary, but Meredith, she just, she just does this. But we're basically gonna wash our face in this. We are, we are just putting it everywhere. And I'm also pulling it down on my neck. Now I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend everything in. He said the key to this looking good is blending it in really well, so that's what I'm gonna do. Meredith wears a lot of foundation, but she also wears a lot of concealer. With this, again, she just goes, goes, goes crazy. We're giving it a fair chance. We're trusting the process. We're gonna blend everything in with a damp sponge. Go to part two. Welcome to me trying to make this contour work for me. I am blending my life away. Maybe it just needs more spray. I am officially bathing in the spray. It's starting to make a little bit of sense, but this beard situation is just... I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer here. Also, I'm using a little bit of a lighter powder to like save it. Okay, so I did my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Nimia palette and I'm gonna try to create this, this look. I love it. For the sake of speeding this up, I'm just gonna get back when I'm done. And I am done. What we can see right away is that I do not look like Bella Hadid. We are not shocked, but the contour really did snatch my face in. I don't know, I feel kind of cute. And I think the look is pretty good. My hair is horrific, so tell me if I should put in some cheap, like I got these on Shein, okay? Let me know if I should do that. And of course, tell me, do you like this look? I woke up feeling like I want to do something stupid. And that something stupid is going to be doing my makeup with a filter. Why not? Why not give me one good reason why not? She looks fine and i want to look fine foundation i don't know if we're gonna be able to see this a little bit <laughs> i get the stupidest idea when i have the least amount of time i gotta be out of the house in like 20 minutes so this better deliver what it's supposed to be delivering i'm gonna do the contour like the lines that the filter has that has got to be the stupidest thing i ever came up with or is a genius is it stupid or genius i guess we'll know in the end i have absolutely no idea what's going on but that's how i live my entire life so i'm kind of cool with it vibing with the chaos i have a really important question for you when was the last time you washed your brushes i know you didn't do it in a year i know you i'm taking a brown shade and i'm smearing it all over my eye the most important thing is gonna be this eyeliner i'm gonna smear around some black eyeshadow i'm a little scared of what i'm doing but I don't this makeup it has to it has to look cheap i'm talking discount it's gonna be giving black friday we have the dots here that means we need freckles okay now the lipstick i don't even know if i'm going on my mouth i'm at that point of being late where it doesn't even matter anymore and the last thing is the lashes okay that's all fun and cute but i have to see how this looks let's take it off well, it is not really giving avatar and I have a couple of mistakes. This is really messy. Also, what happened to this eyebrow? Why? Why the butchering? Avatar filter makeup may just be a thing. I'm gonna fix it a little bit and I'm gonna wear it. I have no choice. I'm an hour late. You gotta tell me, do we like this? I just did something. I did something. I look rough i'm gonna transform into miley from flowers first thing i gotta wash my hair because this this is not giving miley we're gonna do one of those transition in transition you get me so okay and we're back we are doing miley's look from the video and she's not wearing much makeup i have a t-shirt on my head because i couldn't find the towel first off miley has blue eyes so i'm gonna have blue eyes for this special occasion that's wonderful Miley has gorgeous skin and that's probably because she got rid of toxic men in her life we're gonna do something light and simple i'm looking a little like frosty the snowman very much giving casper I still look really evil. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna put on these lashes and hope that that makes me look less like I'm plotting to murder your entire family. Look like I have a ton of makeup on, so I'm gonna just spray all of this on my face and hope for the best. Okay, the hair today is gonna be really easy. Thank you, Miley. We kind of have the same classic bleach dead hair look going on. And I'm gonna need kind of a blazer. And it turns out I can buy myself flowers, but I don't like this bouquet. Let's just finish it. We always talk about these crazy contouring techniques, but I want to talk about my everyday contouring technique. On a daily basis, I don't really do anything too crazy. I only contour my features, like my nose, and make my eyes a little bit longer, and of course, my cheeks and chin. 
If I feel like being extra, I also contour around my lips. Of course, some lip and cheek blush and lip color. No crazy idea, sometimes it's good to add it on your eyelids. Most of the time I blend it with a sponge, but if I'm feeling fancy, I use a brush. With this, I use the Milk Kush Mascara. And that's how I look more fresh and less like a defrosted pancake in the morning. Hope you like it! Okay, I just finished with the black liner. I put it in my waterline. Moving on to the red. I'm gonna try to use this lipstick as eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna ooh. I'm just gonna try to make it smoky and blend with the black. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Okay, now we're doing the upper red line. Okay, pretty happy. I'm gonna go do it on the other eye. Okay, cool. And the last thing we need is some sparkle. And for the sparkle, I'm going with like a little gold moment. Okay, I am done. Does it look good with my color? I'm gonna ask my boyfriend. Luca! He said he likes it, might be lying. I don't know. He sounds like he's scared for his life. But tell me, what do you think? Okay, this is by far the easiest everyday makeup ever. When you want to be out of the house in five minutes, but you still want to, you know, look cute. I started off with the Ultimate Glow Shots Liquid Eyeshadow. The Ultimate Glow Shots have a vegan formula, and they give you a brightening liquid eye color in one shot with vitamin C. With the Ultimate Glow Shots, there is no transfer, no fallout, and up to 12 hours of wear. But you better believe I'm not leaving the house without a liner. This one, let me tell you, this is a two-in-one eyeliner and eyelash adhesive. Then I just popped on the jumbo lashes. It's so quick and painless. Vegan formula, no glue and no magnets. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. And I did this in five minutes. Quick, easy and painless. Vix Professional Makeup absolutely came through with these products. We want a video in your language, girl. Danas hoću to pričamo hrvatski. Ne znam bude za ovo je prečudno. Ovo je jako čudno. U zadnje vrijeme nikad ne pričam hrvatski. Danas stvarno izgledam kao stari krastavac. Ta lice danas odlučila izgledat ekstremno upitno. Tako da će trebati nekoliko tona betona da izgledam reprezentativno. Znači, ovaj burazer tu, zašto si tu? Ko ti je dozvolio da sudjeluješ? Imam ošće da je danas onaj dan kad staviš korektor na prišt i on izgleda još gore. Mene iskreno jako zanima koliko ljudi uopće zna gdje je Hrvatska. Imam jedan zanimljiv story time o tome. Jednom sam trebala raditi jednu suradnju. I ženska me pita kao gdje sam i gdje treba dostaviti proizvod. Radi se o velikoj, velikoj agenciji. Ja joj kažem Hrvatska. I ona me pita, je li to u Jugoslaviji? I da li se u Jugoslaviju mogu slat paketi? Ali Jugoslavija ne postoji već 30-ta godina. Možda je vrijeme da vam dam taj update. Ja prosto ne bi bila ja da ne dodam pjegica apsolutno svaki put. Stvarno nije potrebno. I nažalost, nema nikog da me zaustavi. Today I feel... Pričam hrvatski. Želim napraviti nešto rozo. Roza boja me vuče. Jedno vrlo romantično oko. Ja iskreno u ovom trenutku nemam pojma šta radim. Okej. Gledaj, trenutno izgleda ko osip. Trust the process. Ovo je preslatko. Okej, ja sam ga malo ubrzala. Zadnje je što ću napraviti taj highlighter u obliku srca na nosu. Jer, zašto ne? I to bi bilo to. Treba mi savjet, da li da kečke ostanu ili da ima zgo. Niko nikad hrvatske kečke. Okej, kikice. Jedna hrvatska pusa. Najgora stvar koja sam nikad mogla. Moram te reći šta mi je kriv za reć! Daži na hrvatsku da nije kriv za čao. Get ready with me using the cheapest drugstore makeup I could find. I did this a couple of months ago with the most expensive makeup I could find. So I thought why not reverse it and try the most affordable makeup. I'm gonna start with primer. This is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline. It looks kind of translucent. It actually really minimized the pores. Like I'm not, I don't have any filter or anything. Now the foundation, the cheapest one was the Fit Me foundation from Maybelline. Believe it or not, I never tried this. I am mixing two shades because I didn't really know my shade. Mm, I think this is okay. It is a little light, but you know, we'll survive somehow. I accidentally ordered a mini sponge, so I'm just gonna do it with my hands. Don't judge me, it was the cheapest one. How could I have known? I have to see how this foundation acts over time, but for now it's really good. The cheapest contour was this Aura Quick Stick. Let's see how this works. It is actually not bad at all. I actually can't believe this was just $6. Let's try to blend it. I'm officially out of time, so go to part two.
Okay, hear me out. This hairstyle, I want it. Today we are gonna do a huge hair transformation using the Good Dye Young semi-permanent dyes. It is called Streaks and Strands on Tour. As you can see, there are multiple colors, but me, I kind of want pink. An interesting fact is that the co-founder of Good Dye Young is Haley Williams. I love her. And Good Day Young is available at Target. Today we're gonna be coloring my blonde wig because I feel like it's really boring. At first I was worried about coloring the wig because I was afraid that it was gonna fade over time. But these colors have sunflower extract to protect the color from fading. Okay, it's gonna be easier if I put the wig on my head. So now we're gonna color the strands pink. Now if your hair isn't already blonde, you need to lighten your hair for the color to be bright. And you can also get the Good Day Young Lightening Kit. When applying the color, your hair should be dry. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. Ah! I think this color is gonna look amazing on this hair. I just love how bright this color is. Oh my god! Okay, now I am done and I'm gonna give it like a half an hour to process. So fast forward to uh, this wig already dried. And this is kind of the color that I got. The hair is super soft, I really like it. Next up is gonna be me installing the wig and you can tell me uh, if I should do it like straight or if I should like curl the whole wig. The hair itself feels really moisturized and conditioned. Let me know what you guys think while I install it. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. How to make brown eyes pop with colorful eyeshadow part two. I'm gonna start with the blue eyeliner and then I'm gonna add some blue eyeshadow. First, I'm going around everywhere with the blue liner. It does look tragic right now, but let's keep faith, okay? I'm using the blue pigment from the Corpse Bride collection and I'm kind of pulling it out like a liner. Okay, I feel like it's gonna look good once I put on the lashes and everything and now it's a little bit messy. Let's see how it looks on with the lashes. These are a little weird. I don't know, I got them on AliExpress. It does need some finishing like touches. For the lips, I'm doing something really neutral. I can't decide if I love it or I hate it. I still can't decide. I'm all done and this is the look. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. I definitely think the blue makes the darker eyes pop better. I don't know, I do like it, it's pretty cute. Should I try this in a different color? Let me know. So you wanna see a full face of Essence product. You already know I'm on it. I bought everything that looked interesting. First, let's start with the skin prep. So first we have this Hello Good Stuff Happy Bliss Face Spray Feel Energized and Hydrated with Citrus Fruit Extract. That's a lot. It really feels good. I got two primers. One is redness reducing and the other one is pores reducing. Okay, I'm gonna go with the pores. Let's see what it's about. Honestly, I have tried better pore reducing primers, so this one isn't an, ah. Okay, so the primer is iffy, but let's go to foundation. I didn't get really get a foundation i got this hydro hero hydro hero it's like a bb cream i think this is the lightest shade i could find i don't know how much i'm supposed to use this is pretty pigmented for a cream what is going on I also got a beauty sponge so i'm just gonna try to blend it with the beauty sponge in all honesty, I don't know if this covered anything. And I don't like I don't like how it oxidizes. I don't know, it's weird. I'm not gonna say I don't like it completely, but I would not repurchase this one. Let's hope the concealer fixes everything. This is a stay all day 16 hour concealer. I'm a little afraid this is gonna dry super quickly, so I'm just gonna blend it right away. It didn't really conceal as much as I wanted it to conceal, so I added more and I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. I mean, do I love it? I don't love it. I feel like face products are maybe not their thing because I actually love Essence, but these are just not working for me. I did not have anything for contouring, so I'm just gonna use my regular contour. My contour actually blends in really easily. I don't know if it's the BB cream or something, but it's kind of patchy. So this is what we have so far. I don't know. I'm kind of not loving, not hating. For the price, I guess it's okay. One fun product that we do have for the face is this blush. It looks super cute. Oof, this, this is, oof, I love doing this. It's called Love at First Bite. I'm gonna go in with a brush. Let's see how this one is looking. 
I feel like the blush is the best product so far. I really like it. It looks natural. I don't know how much the camera is picking it up, but it looks really cute. The last face product, I'm just gonna spray everything with the spray. That would be it for the face. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Go to part two. Things as a 25 year old, I wish I knew when I was younger. No one cares, okay? I used to be really worried about what people think. I didn't wanna do things because I was afraid of other people's opinions. At the time, I actually realized that in the long run, no one really cares. Even if you make a complete idiot out of yourself, in a few months, no one is gonna remember that. Just do the things you wanna do and don't care about other people's opinions. Not everyone has to like you. You don't like all the people you meet. So why does everyone have to like you? Stop doing things for other people to like you. Start doing things for yourself. Because trust me, ultimately, you're the only one taking care of your own interests. You don't need to be in a relationship. I just always feel this kind of pressure be in some kind of a relationship because a lot of people are getting into relationships really young and there is nothing wrong with that that is not for everyone don't feel bad if you're not in a relationship or didn't find that person enjoy yourself and build a good relationship with yourself because that's the one you're gonna have to stay in for the rest of your life if he wanted to he would stop telling yourself differently Guy who cares about you is gonna do anything to be with you stop settling for the bare minimum with people in general not just in relationships never say the words he would never cheat on me don't think I need to explain that one too much. Sometimes it's better to play dumb. People will show you their true colors a lot quicker if they think you don't know what's going on. Don't ever accept a drink from a stranger. A lot of pictures and videos because one day you're gonna be like, why didn't I take a picture of this moment? Wish I had this memory. Don't let the bad things that happen to you consume your mind. A lot of bad things happen to you so you could learn a lesson. Trust your gut feeling. Not fitting in and not thinking is the same as everyone else is not a bad thing. Don't expect too much and you won't be too disappointed. Wear sunscreen and be selfish. One thing that you always wanted to do what was scared, just do it. Because it may end up changing your whole life. I'm a ginger again. <laughs> not the best I knew. And my soul is finally at peace. I was not a blonde. This is the foundation. This is still the best foundation I have ever used. It's a hundred... hundred dollars but it's worth it i think we should give me freckles i'll let me demo freckles freckles i think i'm gonna make the brows ginger i'm about to stop gatekeeping something that i was gatekeeping for a long time this is the best mascara i've probably ever used in my life it's the she glam mascara i just use the length side this is my lash <laughs> That's disgusting. I think this is two coats. I miss this so much. With my ginger hair, I always like to wear brown lipstick, so let's see if that stayed the same. Oh yeah, that works. Why is one of my eyebrows so much shorter and why am I seeing this just now? I don't know what I should wear. I'm wearing black again because I guess that's my solution when I don't know what to do. And if I ever decide to dye my hair again, please, um, you have my permission to heat me up. Hair transformation time. So I wanted to go blonde for a long time now, and I finally decided to go for it. Going blonde from ginger is not an easy job so we had a lot of bleaching to do. Bleach. Bleach. This was my hair after the first bleaching. I wanted it to look more natural so we decided to do the roots a bit darker. Dye. Dye. It looks dramatic but let's trust the process and that I'm blonde. Next step were the extensions. We did a mix of a few shades so they blend in better. Officially a blondie. Gonna go do my makeup can't wait to show you the end results. So let's continue this hair dyeing process. I'm spraying it with this. Now I'm scared because it kind of stained my hand. If this never gets out of my hair. I mean it's done now. I'm committed. Okay so moving on. This this is just still happening. I just 
Okay, but why is this low-key a vibe? If this doesn't absolutely ruin my hair, I'm gonna do this with a black spray and do a half and half. But look at this, I feel like this is so much better for me. Let's do the other side. A little update, I went through three of these. It is just taking so much longer than expected. We are on to the last piece. So, who is she? Okay, I finally cleaned myself. You can't judge it like this. I'm gonna go do my makeup. I am absolutely speechless. I'm gonna go book an appointment. Let's try out the new Bounce Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo by Beauty Blender. This is developed with the Bronze Adjust technology. It helps adapt with your unique pH, so it's a more buildable glow. So, we open it like this. This bronzer is really creamy. So, I'm just gonna go right here. These are the areas where I usually use bronzer. This is also infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So as we can see, this is very subtle and there is no streaks. It doesn't look muddy, it looks very natural. The original Beauty Blender, of course, helps to blend right into the skin. I'm gonna do the other side as well. So this would be the whole face bronzed. And now let's try the gel cream highlighter. I really like the glow. It is giving the cheek the most natural, beautiful glow. I love this. This is how it looks all together. I love this bronzer and highlighter combo. Absolutely obsessed with this. Okay, um, I want to do, I want to do a lot of things. Time to put in my lenses. They are ready. Everyone tells me I look horrible with these lenses, but I do not listen to anyone, okay? Uh, I look weird, but I'm, I'm here for the weirdness. I'm tearing up. My plan is to do something like this, but that's, that's a reach. I'm gonna start with the basic, uh, basic, the basic liner. You know, doing your eyeliner is kind of like dating a man. I don't know if I'm enjoying it or if it's giving me anxiety. Oh, I am panicking. I don't know if this is good. I would never fall in love. Bam, I did that. I did that. Now I just have to do the same thing on the other eye. There's no panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Update, I finished everything in less than 20 minutes. I don't know how this is possible. So in this picture, they have the freckles. Ooh, those are some crazy freckles. Bringing out this medieval torture device, also called the eyelash curler. Okay, so now what I do is I can't commit to a whole lash, okay? So I cut them in half like this. For the lips, I want them to be a little, like, vampire-y, but I'm not a vampire, okay? I just... You get me. Do you get me? I have officially changed. Okay, I think I am ready and I'm going to use this effect. I'm gonna use the black effect. I'm, I'm getting the vibes. Okay, I'm ready. I am ready. Am I ready? I am ready. I'm about to do something very dumb, possibly. Can someone stop me, please? Please. So I'm sick and tired of this, okay? I'm not a blonde. My soul, my soul isn't blonde. In my soul, she's just whispering to me. Dye your hair red, please. And I, I, I just want to do it. And my hairdresser told me if I do it, my hair is going to fall off. But I wouldn't be me if I didn't find a loophole. So I found this spray. It's temporary. But if my soul will be at peace... That's enough for me. Will it stain my hair? Possibly. I have paid so much for these extensions. At this point, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. What did I just do? Well, there's no stopping now. I mean, the color is giving. So my hand looks like this. It's kind of ginger, I like it. This combo kind of looks cool as well. One bottle is done and I'm going for a second one. To be continued, I guess. A full face of Essence products. I feel like first I want to do the brows. Brows, they have this. It's a brow styling soap set. This is how it looks. Move this. I'm going to spray a little bit of this spray on the soap at the spoolie. Let's see if the brows are browing. I am liking the brows so far. This is a good product. While this is drying, let's try the eyeshadow. Palette. This is how it looks. I really like this palette. This eyeshadow is actually pretty good quality. Let me just show you how pigmented these eyeshadows are. Now I'm gonna use the waterproof liner. It's really good. Then we have a brow pencil. 
The brow pencil is also giving, I would repurchase this one. I got this mascara. Let's see what you got. My lashes have seen better days for sure. Hopefully the lashes fix everything. For lashes, they have these two. I'm kind of lazy. I'm lazy to do this. I'm gonna try these. So if they don't look good, then we're gonna go in with these. Honestly, I can't really see them. I guess they're okay if you're going for a super, super natural look, but I'm gonna add some individual ones. I didn't get a highlighter, so I'm just gonna use the shimmer shade from the palette. The last thing is the lips. I'm gonna try the lip plumper. Extreme Shine Volume Gloss Plumping Extreme Plumping. I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna show you the final result. So this is the final result. I would have to say the face products are a no for me, but the eye products, brow products, and lip products are really good. So Essence did slay some things. I met a girl and I fell in love. It was like one of those things, love at first sight, and I really wanna show her off. So... Anyway, here's a dog baby for you if you're having a bad day. <laughs> you are welcome! Okay, Miss Bella Hadid, I love this. I'm going out tonight, so let's let's try that. And yes, I'm missing several nails. First, I'm gonna prime. I think I might have over-primed it. I look a little bit like something you pull out of the drain, but when you haven't cleaned for a while, the contour is ready. So babe, you gotta make me look like Bella Hadid. You kinda have a lot of work to do. Okay, so we're going here. Whatever that sound that just came out of me was. It's giving skeleton emoji a little bit. And now the concealer. By the way, where do I go out in Prague? I have no idea. Now let's blend this in. So help me, should I use the Nimia palette or the Batman palette? Okay, I don't know about this. Go to part two. Today we are trying the new Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer by Milk Makeup. I personally use concealer for a lot of things on my face, not just for certain spots and not just to highlight. Now, this concealer comes in 30 shades. I'm gonna apply it in multiple spots in my face and let's see how it looks. These are the shades I got and uh, I think all three would work for me. I'm also gonna show you how I use concealer to kind of lift my face. Something that's also great about this concealer is that it treats all your skin concerns. It is infused with hyaluronic acid, which helps hydrate your skin, caffeine, aloe vera, and a lot of other ingredients that make your skin look flawless. This is kind of what I do, and then I let it dry for a little bit. I'm also gonna do the nose. After it dries, I'm gonna blend it in. Even after it's dried, it's like a seamless blend. Look at this. Finishing it off with my favorite milk blush, and this is the look we have in the end. These concealers are amazing, creamy, and natural looking. Let's try out the new Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation by Beauty Blender. So the Bounce Foundation has new packaging. This is how it looks. So I love this packaging because it allows you to squeeze out every single drop of foundation that's in there. Now let's try it on the skin, of course using the original Beauty Blender. Always get it a little bit wet. Okay, so this is supposed to be an oil-free whipped formula that hugs the skin and improves both tone and the texture of your skin. The formula is infused with hyaluronic acid and also white birch extract. So this is supposed to look natural but still full coverage. And of course the Beauty Blender helps it melt right into your skin and there are also 40 shades of this foundation from what i can see right now it looks really weightless and really natural and the formula is supposed to last on your skin up to 24 hours if you're looking for a natural finish but still full coverage foundation this is the one for you i personally will be using this one a lot okay i can do this butter fly butter fly butter butter Butter, fly, butter, 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 fly, butter, 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 fly, butter, fly, butter, fly, butterfly. I was so excited, butter, fly, butterfly. 
Hey guys and welcome to my girlfriend's basic biatch makeup tutorial. Step 1, uh, she's going to be applying some powder to make her look more tan because she hasn't seen sunlight in 2 weeks. And now she's going to be taking small, uh, above average concealer stick. The thing that she did with her nose is a bit sus but I believe in her and she knows what she's doing. Now she touches her face with a soft pinky eggy thingy and puts red dots okay uh more face tapping this is where the magic happens because this is not the person who i'm dating i don't know what this is but she does like martinis i know she's feeling herself now i can see it in her eyes slay that black wiggle thingy i guess focus is on the maximum because her ocd is gonna kick in this is some medieval torture device to make her thingy look bigger <laughs> and voila this is what she makes me wait an hour for <laughs> i'm obsessed <laughs> Today I decided to let my boyfriend choose my nails. As you can see, they are crusty, musty, dusty. Oh, he is deciding their fate, shape, the color, the whole shebang. I don't know why I let my nails get to this point. I'm just too lazy to get them done. Looks like we're going for a stiletto shape. You were consulting the whole time? Of course, of course there's red. But there is also black. I thought he was going for something simple and I liked the combo. You know, they're cute, cute. But then we started to do the ombre. We are giving a little bit Halloween, but I don't mind. There it is, I knew something from Naruto had to come up. Atsuki, I can't pronounce that. And in the end, he really liked them. And I am obsessed, they are so good, I love this combo. I am officially gonna make him do this every single time. <laughs> Get ready with me using the cheapest drugstore makeup I could find, part two. This concealer is the Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer from Essence. Essence? It is supposed to be waterproof and tattoo covering. We have a tattoo, so let's see. Hmm. I mean, technically, it is tattoo covering. I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna let it dry. When it dries, I'm gonna blend in the contour. I really like this contour. It's smooth, it's creamy, it blends in really well. Or right now, everything looks pretty good, in my opinion. Blush is Luma's Cosmetics. It actually looks pretty natural. I really like it. Eyeliner, I found this Essence Extra Long Lasting Eyeliner. This eyeliner is pretty good, in my opinion. It's like pigmented and really black. I would say it's pretty easy to put on. Um, for lashes, I actually use lashes from AliExpress and they're like $1 for five pairs. I recommend you to do the same because why would you spend $20 on a pair of lashes? I want to do a full face of AliExpress makeup. That would be interesting. For my lips, I'm going to use the Aura Lip Liner. The shade is amazing. And over that, I'm going to use the Essence Lip Plumper. I am really not a fan of matte lips. And with that, I'm actually done. I pretty much liked everything, but my favorite thing was definitely the foundation. If you have a favorite drugstore product, don't gatekeep on me. Because I want to know. But this is what it looks like. We're supposed to just take it and apply it on your eyebrow. I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius for months now. And I'm here to give you guys an update. It is supposed to make your eyebrows healthier and thicker and fuller. These are my eyebrows now. You can see I have nothing on. They are so much fuller. I'm going to link my previous video in the description so you can see my eyebrows before. This is a whole eyebrow transformation. I seriously did not expect this much progress. It's super easy to use as I shown in the previous video. You just put it on your eyebrows. And over time, your eyebrows really do get thicker and they do get healthier. I thought there was no saving my eyebrows and look at them. I am super happy with the results. If you want to glam up your eyebrows, I would definitely recommend you try the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius. It is an eyebrow miracle. Okay, so I gotta react to this. This is supposed to be a very cool commercial, so let's watch it. Smart shopping app that saves you so much money, it will blow your mind. Mmm, okay. The mind was indeed blown. It's the fifth one this week. The only pattern I could see is that all the victims recently bought something with karma. Karma? It's a shopping app that always gets you the hottest uh, deals and all your favorite brands. They remixed it. I like this. This is like a true crime commercial. <laughs> what do you have against shopping, anyway? Could use new shoes, you know. She really does need some new shoes. I haven't shopped for anything since my partner died. Still wearing those damn shoes he bought me. R.I.P., I guess. All I know is he would have loved karma. Oh my god, she's gonna download it. She's gonna download it, isn't she? Download Karma today. Your mind may be blown, but you will definitely have the hottest shoes in the office. 
Get ready with me for a day. Ah. So yeah, I have a Valentine. Absolutely. I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to do. I'm absolutely late to everything. So I started getting ready like three hours before the day. As I have time, I thought I'm gonna do a little heart. That is beyond unnecessary. This might be the corniest thing I ever did. I don't want to be too makeup-y, but I want to be, you know, giving princess. Do people even care about Valentine's Day anymore? Like, please let me know, uh, did we give up on love? Are we, like, collectively over that? What is going on? I mean, he always watches my videos, so he is gonna see this. Hi, babe, I don't know how we got here. And I hope future me on a date looks normal. <laughs> But you gotta know what you signed up for. This is not the right moment for my nose to be runny. I almost feel sad that I'm gonna ruin it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely lied, this is kind of satisfying. Ugh. Absolutely allergic to this cute little doggy. But I can't stop holding her. So about this man, we have been dating for a while. I wanted to be cute and post our first like pictures together. But I don't know if that's smart. What do you think? Why do my eyebrows look like eagle wings? <gasps> we are ignoring it. The rare beauty liner never let me down. After 10 years of doing makeup, how do you mess up a liner? <laughs> I'm definitely nervous. What do I wear? I have this matching like orange set that I know he likes. And I have this set. This comes with a skirt that's also fluffy. Giving Valentine's angel. With the lips, I'm just gonna go for not crusty as they are now. This is the lip combo that saves my life. For the hair, let me know if I should like straighten it. I feel like this is more romantic. I'm gonna go get dressed. Cause I did manage to be late. Wish me luck! For everyone who cries like it's an Olympic sport, this is the one for you. I just added the blue lenses cause I decided they would fit the aesthetic. The thing that's really important also is a lot of blush. I mean, go crazy with the blush. Blush everywhere. I used liquid blush and then also powder blush. Just make sure it looks natural and not like you have a raging rash. And we need we need tears. We need to look like we cried. Anything will really work. Some glitter or some glitter eyeshadow. And I also smeared it on my eyelids. And my nose because we're going for a wet look. For the eyes, you just want to frame them and make them look expressive for the lips just something pinky you know the crying vibes I wanted the skin to look dewy so i used some setting spray and i finished everything off with a lot of gloss gloss everywhere if you're lazy and want to skip all these steps just just get cheated on you know unboxing random things i bought online first i freaking hate foam cases but i needed a new one so i got this liquid metal one it comes with this little metal pop socket. Next, I got this fancy sword for my bun. Next thing I got for my boyfriend, it's a little Itachi, because he reminds me of him. He liked it. Then again, in liquid metal, this is a little butterfly ring. I'm decorating my apartment, so I got these cherry blossom thingies. I'm really obsessed with sunglasses lately, so of course I had to get some. These are really cool, I can't get over them, but I also like these ones. And another gift for my boyfriend, because he's a Naruto fan. Love this lamp, OMG. Let me know if you want a part to there's a lot more. Welcome to trying a full face of rare beauty. Part 2. Now the famous blush. The way everyone hyped this up, I'm expecting to hear harps and violins when I open this. A little disappointed, no violence. But it looks so pretty. <laughs> it's so perfect, I feel bad touching it. I'm gonna use a brush. Excuse me? Well, uh, it showed up. With this blush, a little bit goes a long way. So far, I have nothing negative to say. Now, this I was using before, it's really good. It smells like my childhood. I don't know what that was all about. If you're pale, just go for light with the powder. It really does give the skin that airbrush vibe. Now, liquid luminizer. I don't usually like these because they kind of ruin your makeup underneath. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I'm not a fan of liquid highlighters in general. So, it's not you, babe. It's me. I got this palette. I'm not really feeling like wearing eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna swatch it. I mean, it looks fine. Since the highlighter didn't work for me, I'm gonna use this shade as a highlighter. I I really like that. Let's see the liner. The liner, Slay. This is my favorite product so far. The mascara is not for me, but you know, respect. Then we have the matte lip cream. 
It's very comfortable, no shade, but I would go for a different shade myself. That was the worst joke ever. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put on lashes and then I'm done. This is the finished Rare Beauty face. My faves are the foundation, the bronzer stick, the blush, and the liner. The lipstick is cool, the highlighter, meh, and the mascara I'm not vibing with. But all in all, really good. I would say quality is top notch. If you didn't already, try Rare Beauty. You won't be sorry. Contour versus bronzer. Contour is cool, bronzer is one. I'm sorry, but that looks gorgeous. I have these bronzers and let's contour like that. So basically the contour is supposed to be really cold and the bronzer is a lot warmer like this. I swear these are so pigmented. It's just a few dots and you're done. On this side. And also I love this for contouring my nose. And the bronzer, just a couple of dots. Just take a look at this. It disappears. It disappears. And this is so true. Like, it looks so much more natural than if I use a warm shade on this part. The nose. Now, bronzer. Look at that. That's a lot warmer. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna add one dot of blush. I absolutely love how this looks. Just do it now. Hair transformation. I didn't feel confident lately, so I thought changing my hair might fix it. It's cheaper than therapy, don't judge me. I haven't had my hair bleached in months because I was trying to get it healthy, but honestly, life is too short to have boring hair. So I decided to dye it black. Time to kill any life left in my hair. Just kidding, I'm gonna stay a blandy. Bleach. Bleach. We did highlights and I actually decided to go blonder and officially enter my Cassie era. After cremating my hair follicles, they toned it with purple shampoo and, and did some hair care. My ends couldn't be saved despite all the resurrection techniques, so we cut a few inches off. Rip little dead hairs. I'll do my makeup cause I look like I didn't sleep for three years and post the results when I get home. Welcome to part two of me doing my makeup with the most expensive makeup in Sephora. Moving on to bronzer, I will be using Guerlain. Guerlain. I think this is pretty similar to Benefit Hula. Great, but definitely not life-changing. Okay, for blush, I also went with the Prisma Libre by Givenchy. This packaging is elite, in my opinion. Also, look, you get a little spongy. Okay, let's see what... Ooh, this is a really good blush. Look at this. For the eyeshadow, going with Natasha Denona. Okay, so I like these eyeshadows. They are super blendable. This palette is definitely worth it because you get the highlighter and the blush with it. And the last thing I took is the lipstick. Now, this lipstick is the most expensive because I also took a diamond case for it. Then when you open the lipstick, you get a little mirror. Okay, so this is the entire face done. And in my opinion, you can do the same for less money. The things that are worth it, in my opinion, is the blush, the eyeshadow palette, and this lipstick. But of course, tell me, what do you think? Is this makeup worth the money? I get this question all the time, so today I decided to test this out. My goal is gonna be like 20 seconds. That is the goal, but let's see how this goes. Today I'm going to be using my favorite Saturday Skin products. The fastest makeup removal, I'm going to be using the Makeup Melting Balm. After that, I'm going to clean my face with the antioxidant gel cleanser. So let's start cleaning my face. My stopwatch is ready. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I feel like this is a good time to stop. I cleaned almost everything off in like 17 seconds. Let's see how much we cleaned. There is almost nothing left. I would say the melting makeup balm is killing it. It's time for the gel cleanser. And I am all done. I tried a lot of cleansers and a lot of balms, but I'm absolutely obsessed with Saturday Skin. This is the fastest removal ever. And please do tell me how long does it take you to take off your makeup? So I had a crazy idea and that was to turn myself into bubbles my profile picture because why not? Life is short and sometimes you just gotta be bubbles, I guess. I'm gonna put my hair away with this brush because I do not have a hairband. Okay, first I'm gonna do the eyebrows. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm 
I'll, I'll do that, I guess. Easy question. Do Powerpuff Girls even have eyebrows? I have never seen their eyebrows. This one hair is ruining my life, but let's move on. I'm gonna use this weird foundation because I forgot I had it. Looks like I took a break to have a concert. Legit, I do love this foundation. It's so fluffy. You ever took a moment to, like, smell your concealer? Because that, that smells weird. Anyway, I did some concealer because Bubbles, she, she can't look tired like this. So contoured a little bit. Um, Bubbles doesn't look like a contour queen to me. You know, we need some color. We need some color in my face. I transform into blossom. Some of you guys tore me apart about the purple eyeshadow, so I decided to do purple eyeshadow. And I'm imagining bubbles with freckles. I don't care, okay? You cannot stop me. And here's where everything went south. I decided to cut my hair. I concluded that Bubbles has curtain bangs, and I decided to give myself curtain bangs. I messed it up. I, I did mess it up a little bit. In the end, it, it turned out okay. I think it looks cute. Tell me if you want me to do Buttercup as well. These fantasies started two years ago, three years ago, when? Two years ago. It's always the same. It starts the same way. How? Oh, tell me. I prepare for the noble war. I'm calm. I know the secret. I know what's coming and I know no one can stop me, including myself. Do you target people who have been mean to you or unkind? I kill people I like. Can I help you? Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. It's a filthy world we live in. It's a filthy goddamn helpless world. And honestly, I feel like I'm helping to take them away from the shit and the piss and the vomit that run in the streets. I'm helping to take them somewhere clean and kind. Welcome to part two of me trying the new Chris collection by Kylie Jenner. And getting tipsy. Okay, now we are doing the eyeshadow palette and oh my god look what they did i dropped the martini this is what it looks like we are using this blending proud mama into my eye now that's a sentence i never thought i'd say and then one word vodka since we mentioned the queen okay that is interesting okay i'm a little tipsy i forgot to vote but yeah i added the black the bl black black and now let's take this off for the state i am in this is very solid i made a decision to add rhinestones the only thing left are the lips okay am i drunk or is this is this weird look at this like look at it what it's like dripping up Okay, I may, I may just be hallucinating. I'm probably gonna watch this later and realize I'm stupid. This is really nice. And the lipsticks, they, it looks like a cigarette. Is, is it me or is this like cigarettes? I see you. Okay, I'm going with the nude one. Mm, this is so nice. Okay. Okay, I love this. This is my finished tipsy look. I definitely think I pulled through with this one. You guys gotta tell me what do you think. Vampire skin. Is it just me or is that the coolest thing I've ever heard? 13 year old me would scream. You don't understand, I legit thought I was a vampire back then. So till you never know. So for this, we need a foundation and we need some uh, glitters. I'm personally using a sparkly liquid eyeshadow. Now, I'm not sure what the right amount of foundation is for this. And we take some of this and then we just mix everything together. If I'm not shining like the sun, I will be very disappointed. Okay, now I'm gonna blend it in. This shade has got me looking very vampire-esque. It is looking pretty shiny, but I'm gonna finish everything and look at it with a flash. Oh my god, look at this. This is so cool! I'm sorry, but Edward Cullen who? Just watch me do this absolutely every freaking day. Try this right now. Get ready with me using the most expensive makeup I could find in Sephora. We all know that makeup in general is pretty expensive. But I just wanted to see if the most expensive makeup in Sephora is worth it. The first thing we're trying is the Girl On uh, Primer. I'm gonna try to show you how it looks. So it has little gold flakes. I mean, it feels nice, but nothing special. I'm gonna move on to foundation. So this was the most expensive foundation they could find. In the Sephora I was in in Belgrade. The packaging is nice, it's really fancy. Also 
get this little book. You get the brush and this is the foundation. Now, if I took the wrong shade, that's a pretty expensive mistake. The moment of truth. I think it's gonna be okay for me. It blends really nicely. I think it looks pretty good on the skin. Again, nothing outstanding or something that I haven't seen before. Moving on to concealer, this is La Mer. This is a stick concealer and I would normally never go for something like this. But it was the most expensive one so I was like, okay. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so it does cover a lot. But personally, I just hate this kind of thing. It's okay, but I don't think that you, you need, need it. So for powder, I forgot to buy it, okay? But I'm already using a pretty expensive powder. It's the Givenchy Prisma Libre. But that one is 100% worth it and I do recommend it. I'm gonna finish my face in the second part because this is already too long. If you want to see the other stuff, go to part two. So you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial using the new Chris collection by Kylie Cosmetics? Mm, okay, and that is just what I'm about to do today But since I got a lot of martini making equipment in this PR We are making it a drunk get ready with me Martini is ready, so let's go I like it I don't know how much of this I need to drink for this to be a drunk get ready with me Judging by how strong this is, about 10 minutes I think we're ready This is what the collection look <laughs> This is what the collection looks like I think, I think, I think I should start off with the base. I'm just gonna quickly do my foundation. Did you ever think about how weird foundation is? Just a random thing we put on our face. Okay, tipsy thoughts are starting. Okay, we are gonna need a contour, a contour. I mean, I may be tipsy, but like, I think I'm slaying this. We are going to need some blush. Because I'm whiter than that wall in the background. Why do I start speaking in accents every time I get tipsy? I am sorry to my British British people. I just can't stop. Okay, the bake. I just wonder who randomly decided we're gonna call this baking. Like, how do we come to these agreements? Okay, the first thing we're trying is the blush and highlighter duo. This, this is the thing. Okay, let's see the blush. Oh, the blush is blushing. Say this is really nice. Okay, the highlight. Ooh, I am loving. I'm gonna drink another martini and for the eyes and the lips go to part two. I always get questions about my favorite base routine. And my routine changes 17 times a year. And I'm gonna show you my current favorite routine for my whole face. So summer, summer can be a little tricky. We want to look fresh during summer, but also we want to keep the makeup light. You know? These are some of my favorite products to achieve the summer look. First, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Travel size, because I'm all over the place. No matter what time of the year it is, we have to prime. This will also help your makeup stay on for longer, even in the heat. And for the foundation, I use the Sunshine Skin Tint. And I absolutely love this for the summer. It's the perfect amount of coverage and you don't look overdone. I love it because it looks just like natural skin. Then the bronzer stick. My shade is baked. Then we have this lip and cheek tint. Blend everything in. And for my lashes, I use the Rise Mascara. In the end, I always spray everything with the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And that is my summer vibes look. I hope you like it. So I get this question all the time. Like people ask me what happened to my face, how my face is so different. And I'm gonna tell you what's up. So this is my face before. You can see that my jaw looks really big. And also this picture that I used in the video. And this is my face now. As you can see, it's a lot slimmer here. A lot of people could think, yeah, that's weight loss. But it's not all weight loss and I did not get surgery. People always ask me if I got surgery. I did not get surgery. I've never heard of this before I got it done, but I got masseter Botox. So you get it injected here, and your masseter muscle, this one right here, it relaxes, and your whole jaw looks more... A lot of people get their buckle fat removed, but I did not do that. You can do that, of course, if you want to, but that's a whole surgery, and you have the recovery and blah, blah, blah. This is like five minutes, and you're done. Inject it, and you just like... It also helps with headaches, and if you do this like, with your teeth. So yeah, that is the magical thing, and now you know. I'm sorry, but this... This is just gonna have to happen to my face right now. It's gonna be a processo. Do not judge me, I had surgery like four days ago. And yes, I did put this on my head, it's cute, shut up, don't, shut up. 
So the surgery that I had was a weeb job. And I'm gonna spill some tea if you were ever thinking about this. I did poke myself in the eye. By the way, I'm gonna do some contouring because the color in my face is kind of like my will to live right now. It just simply doesn't exist. If anyone ever told you that Tata jobs were not painful, I'm sorry to tell you this. They did lie to you. I'm here to report that the pain is absolutely a 10 out of 10. And this is coming from someone who pierced their own nose before, okay? Kylie's also super blushy, so we're, we're gonna do this. This, this looks sus. I'm just telling you do it, but be prepared for some medieval torture pain shite, okay? <laughs> anyway, Kylie's skin always look flawless, and this, this is the best sponge ever. It kind of makes you look airbrushed. I do believe I overblushed. I wanted color, not a rash. I'm gonna skip the eyebrows because I really want to do the eye thing, okay? I am sorry eyebrows, but just no one cares about you today. Trying to make it happen with this. But this actually, it looks good. I am not going to breathe. I'm not gonna touch it anymore because I think I can do something with this. Now I'm gonna add the yellow. Now the la 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 yellow. Yellow liner, like la yeah, liner. Okay, I actually love it. Whenever I use this, I feel like I'm gonna rip my eye out. And this would be it. I don't know, honestly, I love it. I gotta fix my hair and I'm gonna do some transitions, but yeah. Smokey, I get ready with me using the new Natasha Denona My Dream Collection. I wanted to create a smoky cat eye look with the shade names that inspire me the most. I used the shades Aspiration, Spontaneous, and Risk. The shade Risk is special to me because I think taking risks in life makes me feel alive and helps me get inspired to do more and try harder. Also, this shade has maroon tones and everything with a red vibe symbolizes passion. A nude lip is my go-to and makes every look feel complete. I was obsessed with the finished look and will be using this palette a lot. Let's talk about body hair. So having hair is pretty normal, we all have it. Even though it's fabulous and I love it, sometimes I just wanna remove it. So today we're gonna talk about my favorite hair removal device. These are my arms before I started the treatment. And this is the You Like Sapphire IPL hair removal device. It comes in this gorgeous packaging with a razor, charger, and some protective glasses. Now I will show you how to use it. First of all, you need to shave the area you want to treat, but make sure you wet your skin to protect your hair follicle. IPL is a treatment that makes use of light therapy, which uses intense pulse light to kill hair follicles. This doesn't mean that you will never grow hair again after using you like, but the hair will be very soft and thin, even if you can't see it. I like to use it at the highest level. Its light head is using Sapphire Eyes Cooling Tech, which is the same as the one in the salon. This means you will feel no pain and cooling very comfortable. You like just got the FDA certification and is the best seller on Asia market for continuous six years. The link is in my bio. Try it for yourself and I promise you won't regret it.